uh, National Qingong University in Taiwan. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to talk about um, empower embedded computing with BASC RIS5 and free autos. Back, this is the um, a, uh, a course project uh, in my last semester, and so I'm going to go through how to use the this combination. So, uh, here is the agenda of this talk. So, uh, basically, I will uh, go through the motivation of this project and why I choose Risk Risk Five and Free Autos as my hardware and software choice of this project. And then we'll talk about uh, brief, briefly explain the uh, how to port Free Autos to Risk. Risk five, and the last I uh, was talking about some uh, difficulty I encountered during the uh, development. So the first topic is the motivation of this project. It's the fact that uh, we are going to enhance the computational power of our devices. It's like uh, like uh, the cell phone you use. We try to add more CPU cores or uh, add more uh, RAM, add more uh, GPU to enhance the execution uh, efficiency or the speed. Uh, but the fact is that uh, the system must know that you have add a course or some RAMs or the uh, GPU to uh, fully enhance the uh, computational power that your hardware has. And that this comes into the fact that we should uh, fully understand the, the uh, compu computer system we have so we can enhance or fully utilize the system we use. But what if the limitation is due to the hardware we have? Uh, for example, I have an, an Raspberry Pi here. And uh, this Raspberry Pi is for, uh, for uh, four cores and four, GP, uh, four GB RAM. And due to this limitation, it is impossible to do something like to uh, run eight tasks simultaneously on this hardware. So it, it is the limitation of this hardware. So to uh, advance the, uh, enhance the computational power, we have no choice but to customize our hardware. And Yes, we have to customize our hardware. So that comes to the VEX RIS5. It is the RV32 IMC CPU implementation. Uh, to this, uh, I comes to uh, integer, and N comes to multiplication, division, and modular instruction. And C comes to a compact instruction. Uh, the whole implementation is written with Spinal HDL, which is uh, uh, hardware description libraries. And uh, with these libraries, we can uh, uh, design our hardware with uh, several components. So we can uh, combine those components and uh, build our own uh, computer system. And for this project, it also integrates a uh, very later, which is a, a, a hardware simulation tool. So uh, we can simu simulate the CPU we design, and we can use extra tools like OpenOCD and JTAG to uh, connect to our our hardware and build the software
software system on top of this. And it is uh, it is uh, found that interesting that the since we use spinal HDL to write this uh, CPU implementation. So uh, it is like we have a, a more high level view instead of some uh, uh, very log or other hardware description language. And with the spinal HDL, we can, we can generate a more FPGA friendly code and uh, the, change the uh, design of our CPU more easily. And uh, let's introduce to the actual hardware design of this uh, project. It is called Bree SOC, which is the uh, best risk five implementation. We all know that uh, we cannot run our system only on the uh, CPU. So uh, this SOC is try to uh, provide some basic components like uh, UART timer and some like SD RAM or chip RAM and VG and also they have a VGA control component. And uh, the most important thing is that the uh, author give us some uh, some basic sample codes for uh, utilize this hardware. So we will not have to uh, search the documents all the day, try to look into the source code of the implementation. We can uh, first look into the uh, example they provide. So let's uh, let's go to the uh, software part. Uh, after we have the uh, hardware, and we should also uh, decide uh, decide to uh, some uh, operating system so we can. Uh, so we can develop some other application on top of the system. So uh, I pick up some two candidates of our operating system. Uh, the first is Linux kernel. Uh, but unfortunately, Linux kernel require more uh, components, which the Vesgris 5 does, doesn't support which is uh, A extension. The A denotes uh, atomic instru instruction, which is used to uh, implement the synchronization tools. And the uh, second reason is the virtual memory. Uh, we all know that uh, Linux kernel try to isolate uh, process and uh, threads with the address space, but it could uh, more time on um, porting into a new hardware with uh, virtual memory mapping. So uh, to uh, focusing on the uh, porting or uh, to make the system run on the hardware we write. So I choose the second one, which is free autos. A free autos is a uh, a real-time operating system maintained by AWS. Uh, this system use physical memory directly, uh, which means that we can uh, use MAIO to directly configure it, the uh, uh, peripheral configuration. And because this uh, RTOS is it's like a minimum operating system. So they tr try to drop some uh, fancy things like uh, EF loaders and other components to make th this operating system thin and simple. 
So it is relatively easy for a uh, new hardware for to port it. So after choosing the hardware and the software, let's go into uh, try to combine these two components. So here's some uh, simple to do list for porting the three autos onto the pre pre SOC. The first part is the bootloader. Uh, since we have our own hardware, so that it, it means that the system may not uh, load its image uh, by itself. So we have to uh, bootload, we need to have a bootloader to load the free autos image into the, the chip, the, into the range of the SOC, which is the response, responsibility of the bootloader. But uh, in this project, I try to, uh, I try not to focusing on the uh, development of bootloader. So uh, we use, we use the JTAG pin of this uh, implementation. This JTAG pin, can uh, connect with the open OCD and we can use uh, some uh, general tools like GDB to debug our, our system. And the second thing is the address map, uh, which is related with the, related to the linker script. And this is, uh, it is, uh, relatively simple because uh, the example we shown uh, before. So uh, this will not uh, take will not take too much time to uh, revise. And the the third part is the peripheral setup uh, for a uh, operating system to verify the system is working. At this, we should have some uh, task, uh, text uh, on my, uh, show some text on my screen. So uh, we can know that the, our system is alive or uh, not dead. So we should uh, set up the UART parts for the bulk grades and the uh, pins and and so on. And uh, another way is to use the GPIOP to uh, make some LED to blink. And that is uh, another way strategy to verify it. And for the fourth part, it is a uh, uh, interesting config in uh, free autos. It is like, the uh, dots config in Linux kernel. It can uh, try to enable or disable some uh, features of the free autos uh, by modifying this header file. And I have uh, captured some uh, contents in this header file. It's you can see that we try to enable the results with this, uh, it's called from uh, 72 to 74. And we are trying to use uh, some timers, which is enabled by the code in 81. And with this uh, config file, we can, uh, we can try to enable and disable the code without uh, actually looking into the source code. So uh, that's talking about some uh, difficulty during the development. Uh, for the first part, which is the uh, exceptions. Exception is like something you trying to 
you are trying to mess up the the operating system. So the hardware is trying to protect the operating system from doing the wrong thing. So like uh, some classical e exception is like page faults and other exception may be uh, illegal, illegal instruction. So in this case, the uh, free autos, because free autos relies on the uh, instruction echo, which is environment call to trigger the context switch. Um, but the free SOC will not uh, build with the support of uh, echo instruction by default. So uh, every time when uh, free autos trying to use echo to do a uh, task switching, and the uh, system will stream like, no, the instruction is not in, in my uh, instruction list. So the system will not, do not know how to perform the task with these instru instructions. So the, uh, the solution for this uh, problem is to go back to the Raspberry Pi uh, source file and turn on the uh, echo generation during the uh, CPU generation. And this is uh, also the benefit of using the Spinal HDL. So with this uh, high level view of the uh, CPU, instead of the uh, very low codes, we can uh, solve this problem like uh, simple and easily. And the second problem is the lack of machine timer. The, the machine timer is the, it's like uh, the main timer in the risk five spec. It is, uh, it is defined in the, the expectation that a uh, machine timer is to trigger the system ticks. And without the system tick, the uh, system will not know the uh, time is, uh, what time is in, uh, something like that. So, uh, but the problem is that the spec says the machine timer must be implemented as a peripheral. And uh, let's record the uh, flight diagram we showed uh, before. Uh, there is no such machine timer on the uh, block diagram. So the free SLC will, cannot use the instruction provided by machine timer and cannot generate the system tick with the ma machine timer. And, but we have some uh, basic timer, we can say, we can see the timer is here and we don't have the, the machine timer. So my strategy is to make use of this timer in the peripheral block. And the next uh, problem is the tick, frequ tick frequency. Uh, as we know, the uh, CPU has uh, the frequency and this frequency can be used to decide the, the, uh, the tick frequency of the uh, operating system, but in the in our sim simulation, it is uh, unlikely to uh, decide the frequency because we are you we are running the uh, simulator, so the 
frequency of the simulator is something like unstable. So during this problem, uh, we cannot uh, set up the proper uh, CPU frequency in the free autos configurations. And for the project right now, I just try to uh, predefine some values to make the tick, tick work, but it is not uh, that precise. So uh, feel free to try this uh, fast, fast risk five free SOC and free autos on your own Linux computer. Uh, I use the free autos base with in the last December. And the code I write can be found on GitHub with this link. And the uh, uh, instruction will be to uh, copy the this directory and uh, a spe specific extension into the free autos directory. So you can use uh, GNU make to build the extent executable and then you can uh, start up the simulation and connect with your GDB so you can test this uh, free autos on your own computer. Okay, so this is the, uh, the demonstration of this project. We can see I try to uh, connect the simulator on the left and the GDB on the right. And we uh, pass the uh, operating system image into the simulator and use the GDB config a uh, GDB command com continue to run the code. And we can see the transmitter and the receiver is uh, doing uh, a task switching. Although this uh, demonstration is only include the uh, message passing and some basic uh, multitasking uh, technology or skills, but I think it is uh, the first step and uh, important step to fully customize the computer system we have. And that is the, uh, some reference I found in the, during the development. So I think it is the end of this talk. Thank you.